Hi everyone, I'm Alicia and today I'm joined by Mike from Seiko AEI. Mike, how are you doing today? Doing very well. Good. So in this video, you know, you're going to be telling me about a presentation that you're going to be giving. So there is a conference that's going to be happening and you're going to be presenting about the Flamudin 1090A product. So I'm going to turn that over to you for you to tell us a little bit more in depth about your presentation. Okay, great. Well, as I've mentioned in a previous video, one of our supplier partners named Suli Corporation has developed a new uh, intumescent flame retardant based on polyphosphate chemistry that is more chemically stable, more thermally stable, uh, and it provides better flame retardancy at a lower loading than some of the materials out there. They've been selling that in China as both powder and master batch. And as a distributor, we've been uh, importing that and we have several applications that we've commercialized for flame retardant polypropylene compounds. So we plan to give a paper at the AMI Flame Retardants and Plastics Conference this past April, uh, but due to the quarantine and postponement of trade shows, that's been moved to October 1st and 2nd uh, in Chicago. So the paper that we'll be giving is called Intumescent Halogen-Free Flame Retardant Solutions, commercializing UL V0 applications with MPP and PIP technology. Oh, I know that's a mouthful. I'd rather just call it why Joey's plastic doesn't burn or something like that. But uh, we'll be giving that paper uh, jointly in Chicago. So for many of you, you're familiar with the UL94 vertical burn test, but I'll just review that very quickly. You take a strip of material of a certain thickness uh, one and a half millimeters, two and a half millimeters, depending on your application. And you hang that vertically, you expose it to a fire source and ignite it, and it starts burning. Once it uh, extinguishes, you measure the amount of time that it did burn, and then it must uh, form a char without forming drip uh, for a certain period of time. So if it does all that, uh, it extinguishes, it forms a char and doesn't drip, then it passes the UL94 with what they call a V0 rating. So the V0 rating is very important for flame retardant polypropylenes. The material that was traditionally used in the past was a brominated flame retardant. And the trend now is to go away from a brominated or other halogen containing flame retardants in favor of non halogen materials of which the Flamoon 1090A is one. So if you look at the comparison of the test results, our paper has a lot more details on physical properties uh, and performance of the final compound. But the key slide from the presentation is this one. It shows that a 20% loading of Flamoon 1090, 1090A gives you the V0 rating, but it takes a 30% load, loading of comparable uh, phosphate flame retardants to achieve the V0. If you look at a halogen containing flame retardant, you have to go as high as 38%, and the halogen freeze usually contain antimony uh, and talc as fillers as well. MAGA droxide is another filler that is used, but you have to put such a high loading that you uh, negatively affect the properties of the compound. So you want something that performs very well, doesn't lose properties as you add the flame retardant, but uh, you can pass the UL94 V0 with no drip uh, and with char uh, formed uh, after the burning. So this chart kind of sums up the data that we've gathered on this and it shows that the mechanical properties are very, very good. Uh, of course, flame retardancy is, is very good and this, this shows the thermal stability is higher than the other products that we tested. Uh, the price is good, the density, because you put less material into a final formulation uh, is an advantage of using Flamoon 1090. Uh, processing performance is good because you don't get the off-gassing that, that's typically uh, seen with the phosphates. Uh, good color stability as well. So this chart shows that uh, the properties are typically not, as, not affected as much as they are in other flame retardants and you still get good passage of the flame retardant test. All right, Mike. Well, I'm really excited for you to give that presentation, even though it was rescheduled. October will be here before we know it. And thank you for giving us a little bit of an in-depth look at what that paper is going to be about. Okay. 
you know, I'd be glad to address any questions that people have before then and hopefully look to see you uh, in Chicago in October. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to find out more or maybe find out more information about the Chicago conference, you can contact Seiko AEI. You can call them at the number up on the screen or you can visit them online at the website. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you.